Yeah, another uh, really decent step towards the opening game of the season. Um, you know, we've had some difficulties in this pre-season with fields and and uh, venues, but delighted to, to get a very good game here against New England on uh, Tampa Bay Stadium. Some really good pictures in terms of team shape, relationships and, and general competition. Um, it's, it's great, obviously, to be... Uh, to be working within a group, but nothing replaces playing a, 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 an MLS team. And we're in a good position physically. We've been working very, very hard. That will always have an impact on any result and uh, any fixture at this stage of pre-season. But very, very pleased where the guys are at. Thank you, Coach. We'll open the floor to Drake Hilson, the Tennessean. Go ahead, Drake. Hey, Gary, good to see you again. Um, just to tie in the, the Orlando City portion you talked about uh, facilities is, is that just simply what it is you just couldn't find a field um, and then second thing would be going into that game you were talking about connections and things you wanted to see develop on the field Had you, did you start to see that particularly in the attacking third this game so the Orlando game um, was was really uh, scuppered due to a venue that was going to be neutral between the two uh, clubs um, the two-hour journey up to Orlando, given some of the other uh, factors that we were dealing with at that point, was, was just too difficult. And it is a shame. We played uh, and had a squad uh, game on that day. And the guys got a good 70 minutes out of that. So there was, there was still something to get out of it. But hence why I'm saying to be playing MLS opposition, there's no replacement for that. As far as your second question... Really pleased with the way the guys started the game, um, the shape of the group, the intensity of the group. It looked a complete notch up from where we were when we played New York Red Bull, which was a couple of weeks now. So it's lovely to see that, that line of improvement physically. But not only physically, you know, you start to see players forming those connections again. And I thought for two thirds of the field, we looked very, very good. Um, for probably about 40 minutes of that first half. Um, they started to get themselves into the game with five or six minutes to go, but I thought we were the dominant team for a good, good portion of that first period. Unfortunately, at the moment, those final, final balls, final creative moments, final finish are just not quite there. Sharpness, um, you know, just a, a, a bit of mental intuity is just not quite there, but really pleased with the way that the, the team's moving forward. Changes at half time, changes throughout the second half. Um, and we'll see those obviously going into Tuesday's game as well to make sure everyone's getting the right amount of minutes. And we're in the right place for the whole group come the 25th. But um, fundamentally, I'll walk away and say we're moving forward very, very well. Thank you, Coach. Next, we'll go to Tim Sullivan and then Ben Wright. Go ahead, Tim. Sorry, uh, I'm sorry if, if there's crying in the background in a second here, but um, Gary, it looks like you guys started mostly uh, pretty close to a first choice group aside from Hani in the first half. How close are you getting to kind of figuring out what your you know best eleven is and what your um, you know regular substitutions are going to be when the regular season ends? We're, we're moving ever closer to that, as you may well imagine. It happens every pre-season. You know, everyone's going to get a decent opportunity and chance to stake their claim. But I think, you know, we're in a, a pretty pretty good spot at the moment. Um, maybe two or three positions up for grabs, form, um, obviously health. Hanny walked out of the warm-up. Nothing serious at this point, just a precaution. No point in taking any risk, but his hip tightened up, hence the uh, exclusion there. Randall's in a much better place. I would expect to see minutes from him on Tuesday. So it's nice to have him back into the fold. But as I might have alluded to in the early part of this conversation, each team's in a different place. Um, we actually trained a lot harder yesterday than we would, ever would going into a game um, in the regular season. There were some things I wanted to get through. There are things that are difficult to fit into the schedule when we're playing match minutes. And the guys, understandably, felt leggy, 
come the start of the game here today and the data that we're collecting is telling us they're getting through a tremendous amount of work. But I'm planning for the 25th and it's disappointing to lose any game. But I thought we certainly created enough moments and opportunities to have got something out of this. It wasn't to be, it's not going to dampen how I'm feeling. I'm, I'm really, really pleased, as I've said on two or three occasions, where we're at. And we're moving forward in a very, very positive way. Ben Wright, you're on with Coach Smith. Yeah, Gary, um, we, we can't see the matches, so it's hard to know too much how, how the games are playing out. Um, you guys have you guys scored twice against the U.S. Um, U20s, and then since then we haven't uh, we haven't seen any goals. Um, is that a concern, or do you feel like you guys are creating chances and just not able to get that kind of that finish at the end of it? Yeah, the, the New York game, Ben, I, I would have said flat out. Um, first game, tough opposition, hugely difficult surface and environment. It was very unlike IMG, but I don't think we had a shot on target. Um, I'm not even sure we had a shot, which, which was a little bit worrying, given that there were two different groups out there. Very, very different spectacle today. Um, field was in really good shape. Bigger field more relative to what we'll see when we go back to Geodis. Um, so many more pictures that are relative to what we might see come the 25th. New England, good shape, some good footballers try to build out, um, you know, certainly trying to obviously get their season up and running and going in the right direction. And it was a really good challenge. Something that we can refer to, look back out on the video, um, the fact that we haven't scored, of course, is always a little bit of a worry. But I'd be even more concerned if we didn't have a threatening edge, whether it was Jacob, Fafa, Tilo, TJ, Shaq looked really exciting on the right-hand side. We got ourselves in some really good spots. Um, but unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. You know, there, there was either a difficult cross, final ball, connection whatever it was it didn't it just didn't come off in the final third so yeah of course there's a little bit of a worry but at this point I think we can safely say heavy legs tired minds um, the effects of pre-season will have an impact in those definitive moments the rest of the the game looks as though it's coming on very nicely thank you coach we'll wrap up with the following four we'll start with Drake Hill go ahead Drake yeah Excuse me if I if I missed uh, Nick's uh, discussion. I know we talked about Randall, but I'm, I'm curious what his work is, is, is looking like. I know he hasn't gotten the full run off as far as preseason minutes is concerned. Uh, about that, do you think that that gives him an uphill battle as far as February 25th um, and, and the games to compete with with Walker and Jack for minutes, or do you think that um, you could, you're maybe you're seeing work behind the scenes that that let you know he'll be ready? I, certainly, he's getting through an awful lot of work. However, n nothing replicates playing in a game, playing against good opposition. And, and there is a difference between being fit and ready and healthy to being sharp and, and, and match ready. So the next week will be really important. Uh, we have Philadelphia on Tuesday and Cincinnati to close out this final phase. Both games are going to be extended minutes. So there'll be 120 minutes in both of those games. It'll give everyone an opportunity and a chance to um, get some good minutes under their belt, obviously including Randall. Um, the, the, the slight strain, hamstring strain that he had against New York is healed. Um, the work that he's been getting through proves that. It's now about finding the right run up to the 25th to be saying, OK, he's in the right spot. The work that he's achieved and the minutes that he's got through enable him to start the game and have an impact or come into a game and have an impact or even be part of that. So the next week's going to be really important for him. Um, I'm not sure beyond that we're going to have too many opportunities for him to get meaningful minutes. We do have a game behind closed doors Wednesday when we get back to Nashville against our reserve group, the Huntsville group. So there'll be an opportunity there. But I do think these next games are going to give us a, a good benchmark as to where he's at. Thank you, Coach. Next, we've got Tim Sullivan and Claudia Villanova. Go ahead, Tim. 
Hey Jerry, as you as you guys took the field today, you faced off against the guy that you guys obviously know very well, and Dave Romney. Did you get a chance to catch up with Dave today? And, and what is it like, you know, playing against him when you've been so used to having him almost as a lock starter in your lineup for? for yeah, the yeah. Of course, it's always a little bit strange seeing somebody that's, that's been with us from the you know very outset, and and a terrific guy at that. You know, he's wearing a different badge. He's he's got a new challenge. Um, lovely to catch up with him. Uh, you know, he's, uh, he's, he looks like he's settling in. He's obviously with a, a coach that he knows an awful lot about and uh, we, we wish him well. Uh, he, he looked fine today, typical Dave. Um, competed well. Uh, looked like he's, uh, he's part of the furniture there now. So l lovely to catch up with him and lovely to see him doing well. Thank you, Coach. Go ahead, Claudio. Uh, Gary, thank you, Matt. Uh, Gary, besides the areas of concern that you might have, Collectively, you know, players like in like a Ronda being ready or not ready, like you just stated. I'm, I'm curious about uh, Animal Godoy. I mean, Animal Godoy could have been probably a player that you would have loved to play more often last season, and because of injury, you couldn't, you know, you just couldn't. And then at the end of the season, he became uh, available for you, maybe, maybe a little bit late. I don't know what you think about it. And how, how is it looking now? Is it going to be? Is he full ready? What is his form at this point? Yeah, you know, sometimes, Claudio, uh, the, the, I think the schedule for, for someone like Annabelle has been immense. He's, he's been such a great servant, not only for our club, but for his country as well. And when you look at some of the things that went on last year, that, that push for the World Cup place, um, the emotion of missing out for him, um, the, just the... the you know, the workload and the emotional toil that he had to go through, I think in the end caught up with him. There's no doubt about it. And he had a couple of injuries that he was very, very frustrated with. I honestly think that served us as a team and, a, and for the individual much better going into this preseason. He came in and tested as well as anyone. He's obviously kept himself in great shape. He looks like he's got a little bit of appetite and hunger in his eyes. Um, he's, he's been playing regularly for the group. He's been working very, very hard. In fact, it's his birthday today. I don't know if you knew that. Um, so I'm sure he'll be enjoying going out and celebrating that. But it, it's great to have him back looking like his old self. You know, we had a, a period of time last year where he was obviously off colour and injured. And, and it was, you know, it was demoralising for him and for everyone else to see him looking so frustrated and disappointed. But I think he's back. He looks great. You know, he's, he's dictated a lot of the game here today in the first half. Um, and he looks like he's, he's really got the bit between his teeth. Thank you, Coach. We'll wrap up today's session with Ben Wright. Go ahead, Ben. Yeah, Gary, um, it, it looks like Sean Zuber has got on the field in a couple of previous matches. I don't believe um, Joey Skinner has been involved. Are you able to give an update uh, on those guys that you took in the super draft, um, if they're involved in the preseason and kind of what you're expecting from them this coming year? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Sean came in and, and made an immediate impact. Um, looks very composed on the ball, settled into the group. As, as, as eaten up the work, his body's been able to endure the workload, which has, by the way, not been easy. Um, I'm sure if you speak to the guys, they'll all tell you that it's been a very tough preseason and a prolonged preseason as well. So, you know, it's a bit of an asset for any player that they can get through that work. And he's made a really nice impression. Um, as far as his future minutes and games, I think we'll definitely be looking at the Huntsville group. In fact, in fact, he'll probably transition into the Huntsville group this weekend. They go to AMG. They've got games down there. It'll be a nice time for him to, to start settling into that group and, and having a bit of an impact. As far as Joey Skinner's concerned, I think Joey's in a very different boat to, to Sean on, on this occasion. Joey's 19, um, you know, he's got more development time in front of him and, you know, no two ways about it. It's been a tougher road for him in this preseason, you know, getting to grips with the pace of some of the senior pros in the group. Um, and Joey transitioned down towards Huntsville a little bit sooner. And we'll get a look at those guys on Tuesday. They play, I believe, Philadelphia 2 down at IMG. And it'll be wonderful to see how they're progressing. Of course, in a brand new group there. There's a lot of work to be done. And uh, 
those both of those guys, I'm sure, will have a nice impact in that group. 